In this video, we're going to see how to add a new variation to an existing product group. So there are two different things you might be wanting to do here. In the first case, you might be adding a new option value to an existing option. So for example, you already have size and you want to add extra large. Or secondly, you want to add a new option or a new dimension to an existing product group. So fit to a product group that only has option size. Let's take a look at the first example where we're just going to add a new value to an existing option. So here we have a t-shirt in size small, medium and large and we're going to add extra large. So here's the t-shirt in Bright Pearl and we're looking at the variant edit screen. We already have size so all we need to do is click add sizes. This shows all of the extra sizes we've not yet chosen or I can choose extra large. If you didn't have extra large in the system you could actually create it on the fly right here. But we've already ticked extra large so let's just click add and all this is going to do is add a new space in the product group. We've not actually created a new product yet. So all we need to do to create that product, which is going to copy the other variants, is tick that box and hit save. We now have four products in the group and all we need to do is drop in and add the SKU. The next scenario is adding a new option to an existing product group. So for that t-shirt that's currently just got sizes, what we're going to do is add another dimension called fit. And the two fits are going to be regular and baggy. Again, we do this from the variant edit screen. And at the bottom of the screen, we can choose to add any of the options that are available for this particular product type. And don't forget that you can only have up to four options on a product group. So let's select fit. If we didn't have fit, we could create it here too. So let's add the option choose baggy and we want one called regular so let's just add that and click next. Because this is a new dimension Brightpearl doesn't know whether the existing four products are regular or baggy. So what we have to do first is select which they are from this list. You can either choose individually or if they're all the same select one from here. Let's pick regular which is assigned regular to the existing products. If every size is available in baggy Let's tick these to create four more products and save. So we now have eight products in this product group and we've added an extra dimension. When variants are copied to add products into the group, the SKU is not automatically copied because we expect every variant to have its own unique SKU. So drop into the SKUs tab and add a SKU. The prices, however, are copied across. So adding new variants to an existing product group is as simple as that. If you're going to do it by spreadsheet, we recommend you include every variation within the product group in your spreadsheet, not just the new ones, because then Brightball can validate that the whole product group works together before you import.